Hey, it's Billy. And it's Pat. And, and we're, we're at the Martin, Martin House Complex. complex. The Martin House, which you can see behind me, and the other buildings on this complex were designed by architect Frank Lloyd Wright, who is a very famous architect. <laughs> Look him up if you're not familiar. Um, and he designed some really amazing properties here and also in other places around Buffalo. We ourselves are in the middle of a house hunt trying to find the perfect home in Buffalo. When we do, we know we're going to have to do tons of renovations on it. Yeah, and coincidentally, the Martin House is going under a uh, beautiful renovation and restoration. And uh, it's going to be ready in 2017, just in time for Frank Lloyd Wright's 150th birthday. How perfect. Luckily for us, the house is still open for tours during renovation, so we can take a peek inside Buffalo's most famous home and uh, get a little inspiration for our house hunt and renovations too. So uh, let's go take a look. Yeah. Okay, first house is the gardener's house. Oh, this is cute already. I love the front door. Same. Hello. <laughs> it's so bright. Like, I love the, the bright Look light the that windows. comes in. Oh my God, are they all stained glass? Oh, so nice place for a gardener. Yeah. <laughs> you can see so much detail in every little piece of the work. And apparently this is like the, the modest house. The modest house? Can't wait to see the big one. I, I hope mean, that we can find a house with this much light in it because I just, I don't know, I thrive on natural light. It's so pretty and like, oh, just like waking up here in the morning would be amazing. Oh hi. Oh hi, oh my gosh, is that right from the front door? It really is, it's like as soon as you come in you can be like, hello, I'd like a snack or a beverage. But... That is so, I love that, that's great. Ooh, look at the copper on the back of here. It's really pretty, what a good idea. Oh, these are full like back doors with the, oh wow. What was that called, the wisteria pattern on it? Yeah, this is art glass, I learned earlier today. It's beautiful. Time to look at another house? Yeah, let's go look. Okay. So now we're at the Barton House, which is kind of like a medium-sized house on this campus. And I already like it. Again, the light fixtures. I'm already just... obsessed with the patio out front. This is gorgeous out here. Can't <laughs> say that we have enough money for this, but maybe we can mimic this where we end up living. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at that fireplace. Look how big it is. Too. It's like... I hope we end up with a large fireplace like this, because I know how to make a fire. And I know how to make s'mores. A clawfoot tub. I really want one. Uh, I just feel like that could fit two people in it. Relaxy taxi time. Ooh. See, this kind of architecture through these windows is just beautiful. Oh I would love to wake up and just have like the sun glistening through this. Oh. We'll take it. So now we're gonna see the main Darwin Martin house. This is very exciting. It's under a lot of renovations, which is probably what we're going to be doing <laughs> yeah. over the next few years on the house that we buy. Wow. Um, but the character is very visible in this house. You come in and it's very compact and cozy, and then it just like aerates out into these ceilings. And oh, look at the woodwork too. Eight and a half miles of woodwork in this house. Just in this house. That's, Can I have that much in the house we find? <laughs> sure. Look at the ceilings. Like the gold ceiling. There's so many gold details in this house. And then the windows, there's so much light coming in. You know, if there weren't a lot of windows, this would be a very like dark, cozy house. But because of the windows, it like opens everything up. Yeah, look at the art glass windows. These are all the tree of, tree of life, I think it's called. Sure. It's based on the wisteria plant again. And this one actually has like the planter, the tree, and the blossoms. And there's a little tour outside. Hi, Tor. I need to go this way because there is a statue at the end that I would love to see. Oh my gosh. I got mesmerized for a second. Whoa, so this is a conservatory? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this is not too shabby of a house. No, I mean, how do you get this in your house? Like, how do you build a garden on the inside? Like, this is... I'll tell you how. This is my dream garden. You know I love plants and flowers. This is amazing. Who doesn't need a giant statue of Nike for victory in your house? One day we'll be victorious in finding a house. One day. <laughs> it's really beautiful to see the way nature and kind of geometric stuff is brought in together. That's... 
I'm obsessed. Frank Lloyd Wright knew what he was doing. For a house finished in 1905, I just have a new respect for old houses. I kind of want to buy an old house now. Uh, yes, and I'm definitely walking away with a lot of inspiration for projects that I'm going to force Billy to do at our new house. That's how it always <laughs> goes. If you are ever in Buffalo or in the Parkside neighborhood near the Buffalo Zoo, downtown, this is very close. It's very accessible. Um, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get more information about the Martin House, the Martin Complex, um, or any other fun things to do in Buffalo, check out visitbuffaloniagara.com to get more info. Yeah, let's just go buy a house now. <laughs> See ya. Bye. This is the fanciest stable I've ever seen. Like, this is where horses hang out, and now I can come in here and buy a blanket. Do not lock me in here. Bye now. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to live here forever. See ya.